Hi, today we're going to talk about literal equations. A literal equation is an equation that relates to two or more real-life quantities. So it has more than one variables. So we've been learning about all the equations that has numbers and one variable. But from now on, that literal equation deals with more than one variable. But we just solve it exactly the same way that we've been solving the equation. So we use the inverse operation. What does inverse operation mean? So if the quantity was added, we use subtraction. If it was subtracted, then we use addition. If it was multiplied, you use division. If it was divided, then it will, we'll use the multiplication. So let's take a look at the first example. This is a formula for area. Area equals length times width. But it says solve for W. What does that mean? Solve for W means we are going to isolate W. How do you isolate W? So let's say A equals L times W. So if you want to solve for W, all we need to do is leave W by itself and we need to get rid of this L. But what operation do you see between L and W? That's right, it's multiplication. So if you want to undo multiplication, you got to divide. So we're going to divide by L. Okay? Then L and L right here cancels away. So W is equal to A over L. I know it's not easy easy to do this kind of question because you know you kind of freak out when you have to see all the variables but we just treat it exactly like a number but when it comes to simplify we can't simplify a divided by l so we leave it as, as it is then we're done let's take a look at the next question this time it's distance formula distance is equal to rate times time and then this time we're going to solve for r okay when they ask you to solve for r, what does that mean? That means you isolate r. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite the problem here. So d is equal to rt. Now, if I want to isolate r, what, I not, what do I need to get rid of? Yes, we need to get rid of t. But what operation do I need to do to get rid of t? What operation do you see between r and t? It's a multiplication. So in order to undo that, we got to divide. We're going to divide by t from both sides. Then, what will be my answer? t and t cancels out. So r will be equal to d over t. Is it getting easier? Okay, let's move on. Now it's volume formula. Solve v equals pi r square h for h. This time we're going to solve for h. What does solve for h mean? That means we are going to isolate again h. Okay. So v is equal to pi r square h. So let's take a look at this formula. What operation do you see among pi r square and then h? It's all multiplication, correct? So if I want to isolate h, what do I need to get rid of? I need to get rid of pi and then r squared. Since they are all multiplication, how can we undo that? We divide by pi r squared. Now, can we sim simplify v over pi r squared? No, so we just leave it as it is, and it's going to be h is equal to v over pi r squared. Easy? Next example. We all know this formula, interest formula. Interest is equal to principal times rate times time. But this time we're going to solve this equation for t. Solve for t. If you're solving for t, okay, what does that mean? We are isolating the t. How am I going to isolate t? What do I need to get rid of? 
I need to get rid of P and R. But what operation do you see among these three variables? All multiplication. So in order to undo that, what should I do? I need to divide by PR from both sides. So therefore, T is equal to I over I hope it's getting easier for you guys, but we'll see. Let's try next one. Next one is a little tricky because now we have more than one operation. So solve ax plus y equals c for y. We're going to solve this equation for y. What does that mean? We are going to isolate y. Now, if you look at this equation, guys, if I want to put I, if I want to put y by itself, what do I need to get rid of? a and x. But what operation do you see between a and x and y? It's addition. So how do I get rid of this? We need to subtract a x from both sides. So then a x and a x cancels out. y is equal to now. Can I simplify this anymore? C minus AX? We can't, so we just write it out. C minus AX. So what we're doing is basically when we are asked to solve for a variable, we're trying to isolate that variable by doing inverse operations. So let's try the next one. Solve AX plus Y equals C. This time we're going to solve for X. Okay, so if you want to solve for x, we need to isolate x. How do I isolate x? This time I need to get rid of a and y. But what operation should I do first? Which one should I get rid of first? You guys remember when we do simply 2x plus 5 equals 10, which one do I need to get rid of first if I want to isolate x? I always get rid of this 5 first. Is that right? And then 2x equals 5. Then we will divide by 2. We do exactly the same thing. If you want to isolate x right here on this problem, think about it. Which variable do I need to get rid of first? Which whatever is farther away from x. A is right attached to x, but y, we see the connection between plus sign. So which one is farther away from x? Which is y. So I have to get rid of y first by subtracting y. ax is equal to c minus y. Then we're almost done. Still x is not by itself. We need to get rid of a by what operation, guys? Since it's multiplication, we are going to divide by a x is equal to c minus y all over a. We'll do more practice in class. But make sure, guys, when you solve literal equations, all you do is you want to isolate that variable by doing inverse operation. And when we have to get rid of more than one variable, we are going to do step by step. And when we get rid of it, we are going to get rid of the one that is farthest away from the variable. I hope this helps. And when, we, when I see you in class, we'll do more practice. Have a good day.